All right, guys, 2005 Chevy Colorado with a no start. Now, before you go and just condemn the starter, first things first, I did put, we've got a brand new battery in it. We know that's not the issue. Now, and the grand thing is the starter is buried down under the intake. You can't even see it from up here. And you have to pull the whole intake off to get to that starter. So, before we condemn the starter, the first thing you want to do is your fuse box down here. This is an 05, so other years might be slightly different. Open that up. Right here is your starter relay. So you're looking down on the fuse box. This is on the driver's side, standing on in the front of the truck. Pull that starter relay out. Okay. Now, you should have, and you don't, you can use a regular test light for this. Just hook it, hook it to your negative for this test. Now, you should have... 12 volts there you should have 12 volts here this is the battery power to the starter this is the 12 volt key on power to the relay now if you have the ability to with the power probe you plug into this one this is your power out to the starter so if we hit the power button on the power probe Starter's fine. Okay, it started up and it, and it will run. All right, now pull that out of there. If we plug this in here and I hit the key, you should see that little light turn green and it should be. Okay, as you can see, there's no green light and there's no beep. That ground comes from the PCM, which is right over here. So that is how the PCM controls the relay, is through the ground. So we're not getting a ground signal from the PCM. Now, could it be a wiring problem? Sure. But before we do anything else, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scan the computer and see what we have for codes. Okay, now we just ran a code scan on it because realistically if it won't start you can't tell if the check engine light's on on, a, on most of these cars because it's on all the time the key is on the engine's not. But if you can t tell we have this P0606 code which says PCM internal processor fault. Now that code is not a code you want to see um, especially if there are no other associated codes. There is a P0602 code that can come up with it, and then you've got some other diagnostic work to do. But if you see that, whoop, if you see that P0606 code, um, that is a PCM death code. That's a PCM internal processor fault, and that is why the um, that is why the PCM is not sending a signal to the starter um, to start this truck. And if we do get it running, the dash display right here. Will actually show a reduced engine power message due to that processor fault so we're going to clear out of that shut the key off and i'm going to show you how to fix it okay now i went ahead and plugged my fuel pump relay back in down there or, or excuse me my starter relay since i don't need it out anymore first thing we're going to we need to do is we need to disconnect our negative battery terminal. So 10 millimeter, and honestly, this 10 millimeter will be the only tool you're gonna need for this job. Loosen it up, give her a little twist. Chuck it out of the way. Then we're gonna come over here to the PCM. And I know it's hard to see, these three little red tabs on the plug-ins, go ahead and pull them out, just give them a wiggle, and they'll come out. And then, once they're out of the way, you can push down, you gotta push down right there on the plug-in. So, right in there, you just have to gently push in, and then you can lift up on the gray clip, and as you lift up, wiggle the plug-in out, and with any luck, 
Flip it all the way up. And she should slide out. As you can tell, these haven't been out and they're kind of dirty. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me get that last one out. All right, once you get them unplugged, lift up on the two top tabs. PCM is out. Now, if you're lucky enough, this is, if you can find it, this is the parts number for the PCM, and it is through Cardone. It's a 77-9773F. And I was actually, there's the new computer. Looks just identical to the old one. And... I was able to get it through Flash Labs is the supplier. My local parts house was able to get it from them. And they were able to actually flash it with the VIN and the mileage. So I'm going to take that sticker and we're going to stick it back here on the back side of the PCM. That way if anybody ever pulls it out, they know where it came from. And it's got the calibration number on it. But thankfully I was able to find this pre-flashed. So we're going to go ahead and stick it right back in where it came from. Same way we got it out. Just drop it down at the bottom first. Get it centered. Snap the top in. And then just reconnect our connectors. Wiggle them in. You're going to have to push in as you pull down on the lock tabs. Hopefully they go in easier than they came out. Just be careful. You don't want to break them. Lugger it. Hopefully. Alright, they're all locked in. Go ahead and hook your negative battery terminal back up. Because even though it's programmed with the VIN and the mileage, we're still going to have to reprogram the anti-theft system to recognize the key. So, nice and snug it's not rotating we go ahead and put our fuse panel cover back on and we'll go inside the truck okay in order to program the pass lock system to the new PCM we turn the key on turn it to crank and it'll take about 10 minutes but the security light will eventually go out. When the security light goes out, we turn the key off, we do the same thing. We're gonna do that three times, it'll take about a half an hour. And at that point, that should have reprogrammed our pass lock system and we should be able to start the truck. Okay, we've done it three times now. You can see the um, security light is off. So we're gonna turn the key off. Back on, and she's alive. All right, so we still have to check engine light. So we're gonna go back here to the engine, and we're gonna look at the codes. Crank variation, system variation not learned. So, 
Okay, so to do the crank variation learn, we're going to go into the engine main menu, go to functional tests, and right there, CKP variation learn, set parking brake, done. Um, cycle ignition from off to on, it is off, on, continue, apply and hold the brake pedal. Starting to idle the engine until it reaches operating temperature. So, we are in park, and now it needs to idle until it reaches at least 158 degrees Fahrenheit. So, we're going to let it warm up to that point. All right, now that it's been idling for a little while, we should be up to operating temperature. So, down here on the scan tool, we'll hit continue. Warning and next step do not let the engine over accelerate past fuel cutoff. All right, so we're going to hit continue, and, uh-oh, oh, I got to put my foot on the brake, okay, now, we're going to go back through the thing, because I didn't have my foot on the brake, It says the learn was successful. Oops, sorry. It says the learn was successful. And as you can see, check engine light is out. Now if I release the parking brake, all of our dash lights are out. It's telling me I got a door open, which I do. Oh, that didn't help. Shut the door. And it's saying change engine oil, which that's no biggie. So we'll get that taken care of. And then this little bugger will be ready to go down the road. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do me a favor. Uh, make sure you rate the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, drop them down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Share this with your friends because it might help somebody out. So thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty. You might have a little fun doing it.